Thank you. God bless so much. You can get seated. Uh, I've, I've already been introduced to you. And we have been with you not only for this time, but majority of you know me because I have been attending conferences here. I'm Bishop Peter Gatimo. The Bishop Peter Gatimo. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe you used to see the photo, now you see the object, the, 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 the real. You don't need the photo now, you need me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We come from Nairobi. We come from Nairobi. And uh, that's why we preach. And whenever God sent us all over the world, the last two weeks we were in, in Dublin, Ireland. And it was extraordinary. God removed. Now we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to introduce the team that we came along with. So that now you can know them. You can know your, you can know your friends from Nairobi. And most likely we are looking forward to having you in Nairobi. So that we can love you and treat you. You people you are so kind. We can also show, show some kindness to you. I don't know what you like eating most, but you will try our best. Of course, when you come, we must offer you some ugali. Because I saw it here. Something that I've seen here is meat. You give you meat. I saw it here. We also give you fish. I've seen it here. We also give you a lot of milk. I've seen it here. And we give you other things that you don't know so that you can discover new things from Kenya. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Your pastor, the pastor, Reverend Jage, and the wife, we are very close, not only friends, uh, Pastor Wanyunjaji, Turin Shuti Chanes, Zahafi, Birenzenoku Shuti. We are one. Turumge. We are one. Turumge. Their parents, we, their children, we are one. Ababje Ibabo, Bo, Aba Nababo. That is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now, now. Let, let, let's have this team. Come, come. All of you. All of you. Rekatu Kwachi did it in that Jose. Rekarize. Can you appreciate our guests from Kenya? You want them to start from here so that everyone can see you. Can see I'll start with this great woman. Hallelujah. Amen. This is my wife. Mrs. Gatimo. Rosemary. Rosemary. I would like you to hear how, he, how she speaks. Just to greet you. So that she will be blessed. Kujira. Alongside. Oh, thank you, thank you. Kujira. Karibu, Mama. Good morning. Let me see. It, it's working. I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. My name, my name is Rosemary Gatimo. And I love the Lord. I'm so happy to be here once again. This is not my first time to be here. This is my third time. And I can remember a few faces here. The first day when I came, I didn't see her. And I was asking, where is that lady? But I'm happy I saw you. Thank you for the good work you are doing here. And thank you even for supporting your pastor. Continue doing the work of God. Because the payment in heaven is great. Never get tired of serving God. 
We thank you. We are so happy for your hospitality. We are so grateful you have taken good care of us. And we are looking forward to have all of you. If possible, all of you. We will host you in Nairobi. May God bless you. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Is if the mother says welcome, you should know that truly you are welcome. Right now we have a project of 10,000 seater church. Hallelujah. Amen. And soon you will be there. Hallelujah. Amen. And when you come and see what God is doing. We must now come up with something great because it will influence you, it will impact on you the thousand, thousand church that God wants to give here. This is our son. <laughs> you know, Tell them who you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Buana asifiwe. Amen. Ah, uh, Mimi, I'm Samuel Ndongo. I am the son to Bishop Gatimu and uh, Mama here. And I am born of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. It's my first time to get out of Kenya. <laughs> yeah. and, and, I, and I have loved it extremely here in Rwanda. You guys are so beautiful, and your, <laughs> your, your culture, everything here is so beautiful. If I would be given a chance, I would settle here really fast. Ngawanumge, nukabira jise murugwanda, muribeza chane, muftumucho mngiza, iwinu kyo seni bjiza, mbonya mahirgue natura hanga. Yeah, I've come with greetings from Mrs. and the son. Uh, and God bless you all. And God keep you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Oh, wonderful. Amen. He's married and they are doing very well. And they are very active in the church. You never miss my son and the wife. In a meeting, even all night prayer meeting, wherever we go, you see them there. The other day they surprised me. Uh, even in our fundraising, you never miss them. They have their own money, not my money, their own money. And they gave me a surprise because the other day they surrendered some property, lad, to the church. You know, I asked them, where did, you, where did you acquire this? I yep. didn't know, but they... They, they transferred the land to the name of the church, and this, this is our first fruit in marriage. Those are secrets of the kingdom. Uh, Thank you, my brother. Welcome. Maybe you, you, uh, uh, this is the man in charge of men fellowship. We call it Brothers Union in our church in Kenya. Welcome. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm so grateful this morning. These are, these are, these are prayer answered. I have been praying that I, I visit Rwanda. And I feel so impressed. Thank you so much, my bishop, uh, for bishop making it happen to my life. I'm so blessed with you guys. I'm happy to be here. As, as my bishop has said, I'm James Mwangi Joroge, born again, Christ is Lord. Uh, Gentlemen, Boroge, Kandi Yavutsuga Kabiri. And we are so blessed to be in Luanda. Kandi Ahau Mujishano Komurguanda. I'm so happy of the worship. May we are worshiping with you guys. May and God continue helping you to worship. So that even when we reach in heaven, mm -hmm. we'll worship together. Even if, if we don't meet again, mm -hmm. we'll meet in heaven and worship God together 
Because that's what God will cause us to do as we enter heaven. And I don't want you to miss. As we worship here, may it happen to us, every person who is here, that one day we'll meet in heaven, if not in Rwanda or in Kenya. Amen. God bless you. God keep Amen. you. Amen. We love you so much. Amen. We, we, we believe you meet again before Christ comes. <laughs> hey, we must. Uh, anyway, we don't know when you come, but I, I, there's a likelihood you'll meet and meet and meet. And <laughs> Thank you. God bless you, my brother. Man, now, this is that. Joseph has been here. You know this man? Yeah? Yes. To some, he's new. But he is also very instrumental in our church in Kenya. God really uses him. He's a person who follows me wherever I step in. And have known the secret of following the anointing. He is an exporter. He exports in Europe, UK, Germany, Holland, all over. That is an outcome of following the prophecy. Holland, Hallelujah. Amen. And in the, he's blessing the church, he's serving the church with his family and do a lot of management and projects and I pray that God you keep him, Amen. keep him Keep him until the day of the Lord. Welcome, Welcome my This is the wife. This is not a strange woman around. She's the wife. You know, she's dressed like you. You know, she's dressed like you people. You might think. <laughs> you might think she has obtained a, 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 a this lady. This is the wife. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, please, the Lord. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Joseph Nganga Monywa. And I love the Lord. Uh, I just remember that uh, October I was here. And I think uh, this is the fourth time I have visited this church. If somebody has visited you the fourth time, fifth time, he's afraid. So I'm your true, I'm a true friend to you. Another thing, I'm afraid to leave a jag in the family. We have, come, we have come from very far as friends. So what I want to say is that uh, I thank Bishop Gatimo. He has allowed me to walk with him wherever he goes. In fact, this year I've gone with him uh, a fifth trip. Lord, being, Lord, being uh, twice. Mm -hmm. Ireland, America, and Botswana. Uh, and Ireland. I visited with Bishop more than ten countries all over the world. Uh, to serve the Lord. Yes, and it will continue. I was telling my wife last night that this is just but a beginning. Uh, for God's work. Uh, so ju I just beg Bishop Gatimu not to leave me. He just go, go with me wherever he goes. <laughs> because one thing, when I got saved uh, 20 years ago, uh, I had two desires. One is to walk with the anointing of, of the man of God. And from there, this anointing which Bishop Gatimo has, it has taken me and my family very far. And truly, when you come to Kenya, you witness that. May Blevet Jag and the family know this. Uh, and I normally say, the anointing that you obey and honor. It will take you very far. It will make you rich. And we have to, brethren, I, I won't tell you, honor the anointing that is here. 
the anointing that Bishop Gatimo has. It has made my family, it has made my business to be a very great business. Until you became a millionaire. So, so, yes, we have to say this. You know, we, we don't have to hide things, eh? Because we stayed before the Lord. So God bless you so much. And uh, we are going to, I know we are going to come back here again. Yeah, uh, maybe Bishop, next time we will become a big team. Uh, thank, thank God because today we are, we are seven of us or, or eight of us. So God bless you so much. And keep, keep pray for us. Whenever you remember us, pray for us. Allow me to come. Uh, you know, I talk, I talk too much. So allow me to welcome <laughs> my wife. And thank you so much because of the Vim car. I didn't know because she just gave me this suit to wear. I, 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 I didn't know about the Vim car. So we, yeah, we are together with them, okay? God bless my wife. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God again. My name is Irene Mudoni Nganga. I am saved. I love Jesus as my personal savior. Uh, it's my first time to be here in Rwanda. I really appreciate. I am very happy you give us a warm welcoming. We have learned together. We have been blessed together. We fellowship with Mrs. Mrs. We fellowship in in Nairobi with Mrs. Mrs. and Mr. is our friend. And we really happy. Uh, what I can say, I can say I will miss this place. And Romans chapter 12, verse 12, it says, Joyful in the Lord. Joy, Romans 12, chapter 12, it says, Joyful, joyful in the hope and faithful in the we faithful in players. Uh, Let us pray for each other. And we we'll come back next time. May God thank bless you. you. Wonderful. Yes, thank you, Eileen. God bless you so much. Now you are the last person. Uh, no one, this is an evangelist. <laughs> and we, I preached to him so many years ago. Uh, when he was almost reduced to nothing by the devil, but now God has made him somebody and something. Even the, even the size of the body can speak. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank God. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am in Rwanda. Hallelujah. Amen. It's my first time to be in Rwanda. But I thank God. I knew Bishop Gatimo when I was 24 years ago. Uh, we Bishop went Gatimu somewhere, I, 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 I did mathematics, I, 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 I knew him when I was 24 years ago, but now I'm above 50, hallelujah, and I, I know that the anointing behind this man can take you far, whatever you saying today, if you hold that anointing, believe you me, the anointing will open door for you. I was not like that. I, you see, when, 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 don't, don't compare you with somebody. See where you are coming from. And see where you are. You, you are. And when I see where I am today, I thank God. You are, you, 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 we, are, we are singing the, the song saying, Jesus never failed. And I said to me, he has not failed in my life. Believe you me, Jesus, Jesus has not failed in your life. You will go far. I thank God for this country. You see, I'm a driver. Uh, and I'm a very fast driver. But here, <laughs> I'm seeing that 60 kilometers per hour. 
Hallelujah. Amen. They even take care of me. The Lord, you bless and keep them always. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Pastor, for the invitation. I did not join you in the first, I think, five days. We had uh, what we call National Women Leaders uh, Empowerment. And, and national pastors wives empowerment and we are quite busy but God always makes way hallelujah Amen. now our topic today is what can you see brothers and sisters Maybe you can reduce this a little bit. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, the theme of the conference this year is that the glory of the latter temple will be so great that you will not compare it with the former one. That talks about you and me. Talks about the choir. Talks about your business. Talks about your family. Talks about your background. We are being relocated from the past to the glory of the latter temple. And when I was praying for this church, one thing that God brought to my life is that God your change the way you see things. I say God your change the way you see things. I say God your change the way you see things. Even the way you see yourself. The way you perceive yourself. God you change you. The glory of the latter temple we are involved God Searching the way you see things. God doing another thing. God also causing me and you to see all what he has always desired to show you. I want to say it in the name of Jesus. My sisters, God has always desired to show you another glory. God has always desired to show you another better Lord. God has always desired to make your marriage very fruitful. God has always desired to make your children very productive and blessed. And I want to say to you in the name of Jesus whatever God has for you in his mind whatever God has for you in store you will start seeing it. If you believe say amen. amen. Ah, say amen. You know some people are used to one thing so much that even when God wants to 
tutu you a little bit change you a little bit ni imani shaka kuguhinduraho gatoya you are very difficult ukomera cyane ukagorana guhinduka you are defensive ukarwana no kuguma haha ndi waruri you are so much used to that small house ukamenyera ko kazu gatoya ubayemo that god is unable imana ishoboye to melt you kuguhindura kugushongesha ikaguhindura to introduce his river of glory ikakugeza mu wundi bwiza bw'icyubahiro but now god you break all that ariko imana ibanje gukora and he will introduce his level kugira ngo ikwere ku rundi rwego rwayo hallelujah amen uh, you know one time we, we we came out we had come from a meeting a igihe kimwe twatuvuye mu materaniro and i was heading to another meeting kandi twagombaga kujya mu yandi materaniro had a very big crusade kandi cyari giterane kinini cyane and uh, while i was preaching igihe nari ndi kubwiriza and a lot of people are getting saved abantu benshi bakiragakiza my wife decided to take the driver and she was driven to our place to our house our residence ah mufasha wanje afata imodoka n'umushofere baragenda bajya but immediately she, she came back ako kanya itagaruka he said no you know something arambwa ngo urabizi some people have broken into a house arabantu bameze ngaho bafungiye mu rugi wacu took away almost everything ba 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 i said to her no problem actually those things are quite old god has given us new things nabandi mu byukuri byo batwaye batwaye ibishaje imana igiye kuduha ibintu bishya you know i don't know to me kuri nje i didn't take it like an attack nago nabifashe ngigitero i told her naramubwiye god is telling us imana iri kutubwira to relocate from that place guhindura tukava hari ahantu twari turi our own own level of living our own house tukajya mu rundi rwego rw'ubuzima bwacu imana itugiye all the things that they took away leri byo byose batwara are the things that could not fit in our new house ni ibintu bitagari byo kwiye kujya mu nzu yacu twa inchashya twa tujyemo instead of casting them mujye cyo kubavuma i said i bless you with those old things narabane ngumba hesheje umugisha ari byo bishashya because i'm going to a new house kuko twe tujye mu nzu ki hallelujah amen you know can i say something some of, you, some of us bamwe muri twe have lived in an old house to buy munzu zishaje god has spoken to you imana yavuganye nawe about moving out irakubwira ngo sohoka and you can't even hear or understand nushobora kumva ndetse no gusobanukirwa don't stay there until god forces you out wiguma ukugeza igihe imana izagusora kumbaraga Don't stay in that small business. We go mu rugo bucuruzi butoya until some funny neighbors kugeza aha baturenyi bawe bazasobanutse bagusohora. Right now as I'm preaching. Aka kanya ndi kubwiriza. Accept the new thing. Ame akira ibintu bishya. God is saying what can you see? Imana nabo ngo nicureba. For I am so clear and I'm sure kuko nje we business akandi in hamya. Jesus name izina rya Yesu God is bringing something new into your brain Imani giye kuzana ikintu gishya mu itekerezo cyawe Something new into your eyes Ikintu gishya mu maso yawe You must accept it Kandi ugomba kucyemera Are this meeting God do you attack you or invade you with a glorious vision kandi reka muri noterano imana ikwinjirire ikuzuzo bwiza bw'icubayiro something that never receive who you are now ikintu kitagaragaza gukuriwe none i'm saying ndavuga this prophetic ubuhanuzi god imana we are open a way ifungura inzira for something so great kuchiru gikomeye cyane which is beyond your mind kirenze ibitekerezo which is beyond your family background kirenze umuryango wawe aho ukomoka it is beyond even who you are kirenze na uri bubwawe hallelujah amen and because the lord is going to do it i'm praying for you right now kandi kuko umwami imana je kubikora ndi kubasengera none oh what god want iki imana ishaka is for you to accept it nuko we wakira In Jesus name. In Jesus name. You see in the work of God with Abraham. There was an issue that required to be solved. In the life of Abraham. If you go to Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. You must have your Bible. Mwagombye ko mufite bibiliya zanyu. 
Can I go around checking who has who have Bibles? Can, can you allow me? I just stay here. The uh, present people on this side. Do you have your Bible? It's, it's okay we can see you. We are asking. Do you have your Bible? <laughs> I'm not asking whether you are around. I'm asking, well, did you come with your Bible? After this, let's see from verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision saying, do not be afraid, Abram. I'm your shield. You are exceedingly greatly word. But Abram said, Lord God, what will you give me seeing I go childless and the heir of my house is Eliezer of Damascus. Hanyuma ibyo ijambo ryo witeka riza kuri Abrahamu mwiyerekwa riti Abrahamu witinya ninge ngabo igukingira uzagorererwa ingororano ikomeye cyane. Abrahamu aramubaza ati mwamu witeka uzangorera iki ko ngenda ndi ncike kandi uzangura Zungura, Rugorguanje, Ari Eriezeri, Munyama Damasco. Then Abram said, Look, you have given me no offspring. Indeed, one born in my house is my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, This one shall not be your heir, but one who will come from your own body shall be your heir. Then he brought him outside and said, Look now to us heaven and count the stars if you are able to number them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. And he believed in the Lord and he accounted, accounted it to him for righteousness. Kanengo mazijambo juiteka is a kuriweriti. Wosiwe uzaragwa ibyawe ahubwo uzakomoka kurukiryi rwawe niwe uzabiragwa aramusohokana aramubwira ati rarama urebe ijuru ubare inyenyeri niba ubasha kuzibara ati urubyaro rwawe niko ruzangana nuko yizera uwiteka abihwanirizwa no gukiranuka haleluya amen now abraham was very old abraham yarakuze in his active Years when he was young. You know very well this man was married. Who, who was his wife? Uh, who was his wife? The wife of Abraham. The wife of Abraham. The wife to Abraham. Uh, yeah. Can I hear from this side? Sarah, are you sure? Have you read that in the Bible? Was she tall or short? You know, when somebody asks you a question that has no answer in the Bible, tell them it was not written. Sorry? Simple answer. Don't try to imagine. It's not, it's not proven. It's not written. It's not clear. <laughs> now, but the only thing we know is that that lady, Sarah, was the wife. Is it is it okay? Do you remember what the Bible says that they were barren? Is that true? Is that true? Women, how are you? Do women give birth throughout their years or there's a time when you stop having power to give birth? Let's just to tell us. Just tell us. Do you, are you able, uh, you, you appear to be a little bit young. I can't guess your years now. But, hey. If I ask you today, you at your age, are you, are you able to do that? Oh, you, you've gone beyond. Uh, I thought you were young. Yes. You know what happened to Sarah? 
When she was active. Yes, active like, like this one. This one is young. Uh, this one, this one. Just come. Come, come. Yes, this was a young. One, two, three. This one's a young. Come, come, come. Are you, are you, are you young? Ah, no, no, you are not old. Come, 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 come. come, 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 come. Let me show you. One, two, three, four. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh. Let, you, let me separate you from this one. This one is old. <laughs> we have one, two. Uh -huh. This one's are young. And they are dancing very well. How are you? Hey, 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 hey. Uh -huh. Hey, 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 hey. She's saying, Bishop, I'm also old. Don't get, don't get old here now. I go bishop She is saying, yavuze. I don't know but that what she says about herself. She have most likely reached menopause. I don't know but it's you. Uh yeah? Her last born is 21 years. Uh yes. So even if the husband, if 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 he wants to have more children, he she can't. Nothing can happen here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. But these ones, the way I see them, you know, when Sarah was your age, and Abraham was young. They were a young couple. They tried to have children. They tried and tried. But they did not get one. Let me tell you something. Those days, whenever you, whenever you could not have children, the society considered you to be a curse. Yes. They also considered you to be death. You, you are causing death. You are terminating the clan. You are not propagating the clan. So they termed you to be death. You are death yourself. Kandi bagu fataga muri kominete muza nyurupfu baka gufata nguchi yumurjango muza nurupfu mumurjango datu mumurjango You know what they used to do? Uzichare wakura. They wait for you. Baragu tejereje. Wait for you. When you get to menopause, those years where our sister is, when you cannot get children, they would confirm that surely you are cursed. You are cursed. And they will literally mistreat you. If Sarah will go to a meeting, Sarah would Sa go to a meeting uh, Sario ya jaga muna and mangawadi. sit on a chair. Akichara kunebe. They would rather destroy that chair after she has used it. Because they would consider that chair is carrying a curse. Sarah will not be invited to any women meeting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In her clan, they were considered outcast. You and to them, they, they consider that problem to be like a contagious issue. Is that you can cause another person to be defiled, you can cause another person to have it. It was Quite serious issue in the society. Kani kukichi wa zoe ya rafite buri muri community ya bagamo baji fataka nga hocha kwa ndura ya kwa ya chanduzundi chika kumeza chika fatawa ndi wose. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They waited. Aima wara tejereza. When they were very old. Ije bari bakuse. Very old. Let me bakuse. get a very old person. Ye kamfatu munu kuse. Uh, eh, you, know, you know in the world you don't have old people. Ah, Urawizi munu kwa nana kumfita wanu wakuse chai. Who is very old here? Yeah. You are old? Who else? Let me take this one. Come, come. Yes. Hey, can you welcome the oldest person here? 
According to this group, they're saying, among us, this the old one. Bishop, take this one. Uh, this one. 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 You know, they waited when now Sarah was very old. Who is the oldest man here? Uh, yes. They are do In Rwanda, I know you don't have very old people. Can we try to research around? Today, old <laughs> grandfathers did not come to their service today. Not this one. <laughs> you know, everybody is looking that side. There's a light like road that grandfathers <laughs> sit on that head. <laughs> let me see, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, this, Where? This one. Ah, come, 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 come. Ay, 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 ay. Can you welcome uh, the oldest man around? You know, I you know, when now they are very old. Abraham is more than 90 years. And of course, you know, when you get married, the gap is not so. Maybe the, the wife was, maybe, if Abraham was 90 years, most likely the wife was 80. Uh, can you guess? 80. 80. 85 or 88? 80. 85 years. Mm. They have lived, they have been proven to be barren. There's no hope for children. Even the age cannot allow. And the society have given them new names. The names experiential name. A name of pain. A name that there's a naughty come of a conclusion of a circumstances in life. Amazina agara gaza changwe agara asoba anura awari wo muzima babayi hu. And you know now Abraham there's no hope. Abraham was ready for death. Kandi Abraham na abjiri njiro yara tejere shurupu kusa. And God comes around. Hanyimi mani raza. And tell Abraham. Ilamangwa Abraham. Hallelujah. Amen. Come out. Sohoka. Come out of those people Who say you are dead Bavuga ngo urapfuye Sara Sara Come out Sohoka Come out of your clan Sohoka mu bwoko bwa Come out of your family Sohoka mu muryango wiwa Hallelujah Hallelujah I have something different Fiti kintu gitandukanye Away from what they say about you Nicyo abantu bakwavuga Come out Sohoke Come out Sohoke Come out Sohoke and God said, I have a new name for you. You are Abraham. Abraham. But you shall be Abraham. Abraham. Father of nations. You are Sarai. But you shall be Sarah. Sarah. Mother of nations. Mama Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says again, come out. Come out. One, because they had no children. They were denied inheritance. There was no lot for them. Other people in the family will get property because they had children to allocate to. These ones had nothing. And because of that, no property was allocated to them. Abraham used to live in a small, small lad, maybe borrowed lad, hired lad, a lento house in a slum because he was considered to be death. People were saying, We wish this couple would die and get away the cash from the. I tell you. Ariko Abraham na Sarah na chini wali wafite. Aho bari bari wabawe mezengano bari mukanu gafunga anye. Wakode sachangwe wakura miwindi. Na chini wali wafite na nicho wali wizeye. Wali wategele jurupfu. Kani wali wabawe mezengano nubatawe. Remember there are two issues here. Ngibu ke kwa haribi baso bibiri. No children. Na habana. A bad name. Wafitizi na rivi. A curse. 
from people number three no inheritance God comes with three new things for inheritance God tells Abraham if you go to the same scripture the same chapter, the same chapter if you go to chapter Chapter 12. The Bible says something very unique there. God says to Abraham. Yes, that's powerful. That's chapter 12. I hope you are there. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God says. Come out from your father's house. That is Genesis 12 verse 1. Come out from your country. Come out from your family. Come out from your father's house. Three things. And God says I. God himself Not in a man Not known by anybody Hey hey I God himself God as a person Search Number one To a lad That I Will show you they did not give you anything. Because you are barren. But I, Jehovah, will show you another love. In Jesus' name. I say, French, I see deliverance in this church. God, you start causing you to see things in a new way. A prayer for you is going to happen. Number two, Ichakabidi. Hallelujah. 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 They were considered dead, no children, no hope. They cannot raise anything. Actually, they, they, it was considered this way. From where they are, there's nothing that you propagate. They are in terminal aid, terminal death. They have nothing to bless people with. They cannot be a blessing. But God come and say. I will make you a great nation. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. And the third thing is the title. Nizina. Is the title. Nizina. Whenever people curse you. Whenever people consider you to be cursed, they also give you a name that corresponds to the curse. Even if, even, if, even if it is not in your passport, even if it is not in your identity card, but they'll give you. Yes. They will give you. And God had to come back and say. <clears throat> and I will make your name great. To God be the glory. And the fourth thing. They were considered. To have come to a need. They have no children. They have no inheritance. They cannot bless anybody. After them. There will be nothing. After them. There will be no children. After them. There is no property to bless. After them. There is nothing to give. God also comes. And changes that. And he says. Hallelujah. Amen. And you shall be a blessing. I change all that. From now. You shall be a blessing. Ah, from now. You shall be a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
<sighs> and God had to deal with those who are used. To, you know, whenever God raises you, God knows there are people around you who mistreat you. God knows there are people around you who have evil thoughts. God knows there are people around you who will not accept it. And God had also to speak about that. And God said, I'll bless those who bless you. And I'll curse him who curses you. And in you, you don't have a family, but now, in you, all families of the earth shall be blessed. Jesus, I worship you. You know, after that, Abraham, 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 follow the wife. Abraham, they went home. Can I have two chairs now? Come in this chair. They went home, Abraham, Baja, Baja follow me, Abraham, Abraham and Sarah, Nasara, they went home, Baja, and they tried to reason, how, how can we be, I also have my drama thing here, hallelujah, Amen. you know, welcome, welcome Abraham, welcome Sarah, bring me a chair, how are you? You are a great nation. <laughs> yes, bring that one. Mine, mine should be different. Yes, black one. You know this. Sorry, don't worry, don't worry. I need, uh, thank you. You know, what are we there was an issue here. Hallelujah! Amen. They had a meeting in their bedroom. Imagine I'm not there. Abraham and Sarah in their bedroom. Abraham and they are saying now this, this uh, we can understand this God says we will be a great nation God says he will make my name great God says I will be a blessing God says all the families of of the earth we will be blessed through me. You know, I think Abraham reported to Sarah. And they reasoned. They reasoned. I want to hear this fresh. Whenever God speaks, and you try to bring his, his promise, you try to bring his glory into your mind. Into your own reasoning. You will, you, destroy, you will destroy it. And you will fail. Let me tell you what they said. You know Abraham in his household. He had a servant. Very close to him. Who had served him for many years. So many years. Let me get that servant. Is here. Hey, this man. And you, today you dance very well. I could see you from that, that dead. Sit there. Eliezer. Eliezer, Eliezer was a long, long time faithful servant and manager. In the household, Monsu, items of Monsu, the Monsu goods of, of this house. So many, many years. But young. So when they are discussing, Sarah always had suggestions. Away from God's voice. Sarah proposed to Sarah. Let us tell God. We are going to give him Eliza, who is young, and whose wife can bear children. So that God can use him at least to add more to three children where the promise of increase can be fulfilled. And therefore later, just sit there, let, let me just have Abraham. 
hanyuma the bible says in genesis 15 it says something you bible says after these things how are you God's children after all these things after all these things God met with Abraham both of them and Abraham brought to God the discussion that they had in the bedroom with a wife he said now God can I talk to you yes. Know that I'm very old. And I'm dying. You know the Bible says, Abraham was telling God, I'm going. That's why he says, seeing I go childless. Means I'm already departing. According to my age, I should be dying. Abraham is going to die. How will these promises that are so enormous, so glorious, how will they work? And God, and Abraham said to God, God, can I give you my opinion? Yes. I have Eliza, a servant in my house. Use that one. Allow me to die. That's seated. Allow me to die. God, take that one. But for me, I've spent enough time on earth. I'm old enough. I've suffered enough. I've had all the experience. I've passed the age. Lord, man, instead of giving me this promise, take me home and use a younger one. Hello? 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 But God said to Abraham, 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 Abraham. no, oh yeah. no, oh yeah. no, oh yeah. hallelujah. Amen. God said, this one, shall not be your heir. But one, one who will come out of your body this very old body that is almost to die almost giving up almost exiting the earth this old body will produce the heir I'm talking about Abraham could not comprehend that it was beyond his might I want to tell the truth God will give you a revelation God will give you a new name God will show you riches that are Beyond you. you will never, never be able to understand. For Abraham to be told from this body of somebody of about 95 years old, from the body of your wife who is 90 years old, from that body, hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! It says, it says, okay. mm -hmm. One who will come from your own body shall be your heir. You know women are the one who carry pregnancy. Oh, one who will be carried by the old woman of 90 years. Can you imagine Sarah becoming pregnant? Can you imagine a, an old woman of 90 years with pregnancy? How are the, how are the blessed? How are the blessed? Hello? Did you say, did you talk about blessed? Uh, blessed. I'm talking about blessed. Hey. <laughs> don't worry, say what I'm saying. Don't worry, don't be afraid. <laughs> say it, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> you see, like now there's an old man. Look at this chest. <laughs> things, uh, things are gone, man. <laughs> things are... <laughs> you can imagine now this 
a woman of 90 years getting pregnant and these things rises again and is ukabona umukecu w'imyaka 99 aratwise amabera arongye arashibuka there are things that happen hari ibintu biba yeah me there are things that happen hari ibintu biba there are things that happen hari ibintu biba you find yourself driving a car usanga utwaye modoka when you think you are the one driving that car you take a car utwaye modoka you can't understand na gushaka kubisobanukirwa you find that it's your son graduating with PhD. When you think about it, it's beyond you. You realize that your daughter is doing one of the best weddings in Kigali. When you look at yourself and that experience, you can compare. When Sarah was pregnant, Abraham would just look at it and say, I cannot understand. I can only accept it. I, it's beyond my mind. This is just God doing. I can only accept it. Hallelujah. Amen. When Sarah was in labor, Pains. And Abraham discovered it is actually a son who has come out of the womb. And could see Sarah breastfeeding. Abraham would just watch and say, This one is just God's project. This is not my doing. It is God's project. Hallelujah! Amen. That's what God is going to do in this church. There are people who drive cars and say, I can't understand. This is just God's project. There will be marriages in this church. You say, I can't understand. This is just God's project. There are people here who have been caught barren. But they give birth to so many children. When you look at your children, it's just God's project. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Remember this? Just stay around Sarah and your neighbors. Sarah There's this lady in our church. She used to work in the bank. She's a bank manager. Hari umudamo iwacu musengero yari umanaje muri banke. Nyuma yibukwe, she had accessed the best gynecologists and physicians in Kenya. She had access to the best doctors. Yageze kubaganga beza bashoboka muri Kenya. She was operated. Baramubaga. Again operated. Arongera arabagwa. And again. Arongera no no. And the uterus was completely disfigured. Hanyuma nyaba byeyiwe igeraho batabasha kwisobanura. Actually they said there was no evidence of fibrillant tubes. Barabango na nuburyo bundi bwo kwisana bushoboka bubaho. Those who know the hospitals in Nairobi, Aga Khan in Nairobi Hospital, the best doctor, you know, she had access because she was a bank manager and there's nothing. And I remember this lady. Whenever I go to any meeting, I fight her there. What do you want? Bishop, don't ask me. You know my need. In the crusade anywhere, she followed. She's right there. What do you want? God, Bishop, you know. Bishop, you know. Night prayer meeting. She's there. What do you want? Bishop, you know. I'm a bishop. She threw away all the all the evidence, all the results, all the whatever the investigation, and she followed me all over. Afati bipa probyo se bamuhaye nibindi byose bigaragaza uko ameze arabijugunya arankurikira ho ngiye hose umusunge we were in what we call covenant giving twari turi mu cyo bita igihango cyo gutanga deep deep thing ni ibintu byimbitse and she came with a check azana sheke alongside the husband ari kumwe no mugabo she said bishop look at it bishop arambwa ngo bishop ureba in the she talked aravuga in the name of jesus ni zina rya yesu lisifes akiri bingi she not Asked me to pray. Now she said, Bishop, I'm now connected. And she walked away. Eight months later, 
Amezi umuna na shizi. She came to my office. Agaru kamu yuro bjaanji. She was seven months pregnant. Yara fit in daya mezari inu. And she sat in one of the chairs. He said, Bishop, who will tell people that there's God in heaven? She said that statement repeatedly, crying. He not say, she not say anything else. Who will tell people there's God in heaven? She had a lot of tears. I just watched her say it again and again. And then she walked out. When you look at that pregnancy, it's beyond doctor's evidence. It's beyond what she knew. It's God's project. I want to release God's project. I want to release God's project. Hallelujah! Amen. When Sarah would walk with Isaac, look at Isaac. You say now, Isaac. Isaac would ask, Mom, Mama, I accept you are my mom. But you are very old. Who will tell people it's true. No, I accept it. But there's a problem in my mind. Other young men of my age, their mothers are not old as you are. Mom, you are my mother. But you are a peculiar mother. Hello. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have, let me tell something. Do you know among Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Isaac was the only person who had a very strong marriage? If you check the life of Isaac, it was very clean. You can't compare Isaac with Abraham. You can't compare Isaac with Jacob. Let me prove it. When Isaac later married Rebekah, they stayed with not, without children. Traditionally, those days, if your wife would lack children, will you, you will get a maid and offer him a maid. That is not biblical. It was a tradition. You will just come and tell your husband, uh, go back there. You tell your husband, let's consider this the husband, just come here. Start there. You said, no, because I'm not getting children. Take this one. <laughs> Abraham had a child with a maid. Jacob had about six of them or seven with maids. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. How are you good Amen. girls? <laughs> how are you Abraham and Sarah? <laughs> how, are you, uh, how are you Eliza from Damascus? <laughs> uh, my team is growing bigger. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You see now. When Isaac noticed. Rebecca is not. Is going to not get the children. He did not go back to tradition. The Bible says. He went to God. He said God. Open the womb. Of my wife. Because Isaac was a product. Of great experience. A product of faith. Isaac could tell God. If you did it to my mother. Do it to my wife. If you did it to my daughter. Do it to my wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Isaac said, no, I, can't, I, can't, go here. I cannot admit the tradition. I'm a product of faith. I'm a product of miracles. God, you did it to my mother. Do it. To Rebecca. The Bible says, immediately, Rebecca got pregnant with twins. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Oh, God is raising people here. You are the Abraham and Sarah of the hour. You are the Isaac of now. You are followed by miracles. God is starting a new chapter. God is adding your chapter. God is adding the chapter of your clan. God is adding the chapter of your experience. God is bringing it to an end. The chapter of the society. And God is raising his chapter. Now, I don't want what people say. Can you hear this? God is saying, I don't want those records. I will cause you to give birth. I don't want those records. You will live long. I don't want those records. You will be a father of nations. I don't want those what the you be a mother of nations. I don't want what the doctor says. I'm taking over. And that's why. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said to Abraham. It is I. Don't compare me with anyone. Don't bring me any past record. I am El Shaddai. I am self-existing. I do not beg. I produce from my own self. I don't borrow. I am the origin. I say word. It creates. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Christ's name. And now in the name of Jesus. I want to something. Even when Abraham could not understand. And God said, it's you. It is you. Bible says, Abraham just believed God. And the Bible says something. Check your, check your Bible. Biblia Check your Bible. Let's see that verse. Hey, how are you, Sarah? <laughs> and Sarah is some up. It's, it's, oh, it's okay. <laughs> Sarah is getting blessed here. Hallelujah. If you read verse 6, that's what I want you to do. Genesis 15, verse 6. Genesis 15, verse 6. Genesis 15, verse 6. Genesis 15, verse 6. When God, look at me, pumped on them, great things beyond their mind, great things beyond what they are, great things beyond what people say they are, great things beyond human understanding. The Bible says, Abraham just believed. That's all. Abraham said, now God, now it's you and me. Abraham I believe. No, no, and the Bible says it was accounted to him as righteousness. What is righteousness? Righteousness is a stand before God that is acceptable. It's standing before God now. Just come. God say now from today because you have believed in me I give you acceptance start. you are now chosen you are now accepted you are now confirmed since you have believed I confirm you to be an instrument of honor I confirm you now to be 
yuko mubaye acceptable person i accept you now to be kuba a partner with god in what you are doing from today abraham you are not a partner with men you are not a partner with your family we are not a partner with anybody else from today you are on the lord's side uri mu ruhande rw'iteka partner with god what he is doing you are not within your mind you are in the mind of god you are not within your experience you are in the experience of god you are not the abraham people no you are father of nations you are a blessing and from today you are partner with god what god you do you shall be so blessed i say you be so blessed because from today whatever god wants to do you are point majority of you people who cannot question god they can only say yes lord i know it's stable with you and when you say yes he chooses you to be his partner in what he's doing and and that's and when God, you are partner with God, he must show you a new land. When you are partner with God, all families who attach themselves to you, they get blessed. When you are partner with God, whoever blesses you is blessed. Whoever curses you is cursed. That's how new life ministry is becoming ubuzima bushya muri Yesu Kristo bubaye kuri mwebwe Can we allow Sarah and Abraham to sit down? Twakwemera Sarah and Abraham kwicara. Can we allow Eliza to sit down? Kwemerere na Eliza kwicara. Can we allow the old woman in menopause to sit down? Twakwemerera mugore. Can we allow those who are young to sit down? Twakwemera nabo batoya bakicara. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Jesus bless this church now. Jesus bless this church now. Jesus bless this church now. God bless this church now. Let's start for prayer because time is gone. I want to preach something extra, but if I start, Time you go. I, I, I feel there's something coming from heaven. Let's start for prayer. Let's start for prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Lord, I give you all the praise and honor for who you are and what who you are doing. Let me tell you, friends. I want to dedicate to God people who now perceive you are the Abraham, you are the Sarah of today. There I sense the Holy Spirit is, is working in a deep way right now. There are people getting new names. There are people getting new definitions. There are people getting new titles. There are people that God is calling to himself. And he said from today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you hear this, friends? Before God spoke anything. In, in Genesis 15 verse 2. Hallelujah. That's the first one. Can you, hear, can you hear this? God said. Verse one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Do not. Let us read it in English. Do not. 
I am your shield. You are exceedingly great reward. Can you repeat that? Do not be afraid, afraid Abraham. I am your shield. You are exceedingly great reward. Let's read that in, in your order. Alavango, we tinya Abraham, ninge ingabo igutchingira. Nuzaguro rerwa. Read it in your language. It's not me now. It's your language. Read it. Witinya ninjengavo igutchingira uzaguro rerwa ingororano ikome chane. Let's read it again. Witinya ninjengavo igutchingira uzaguro rerwa ingororano ikome chane. You know what God is saying to Abraham? Abraham. 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 I want to tell you who I, who I am to you. I am your shield. I am your exceedingly great reward. That's who I am to you. When God appears to you, my sister, and introduces himself to you in a very personal way, May the Lord bless you. Father, in Jesus' name, I love you. Can you take a minute and tell God, God, I believe you are raising me to levels that I've never thought. Just tell God, raise your hands to heaven. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Riba bobo sheka nada babo zaya. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, yes. yes. Just talk to God about it. Rekufuga na ni imana. Giri imana. Shara rababoza. Sheke de mazika rapo sata papos. Just talk and talk to God about it. Rekufuga na ni imana. God has way for you. Imana iftin zira kubgao. In the name of Jesus. Ni zina rja yesu. Rabu suba ki braka pasete. Riyabado braka sika tabako pretete. You are here. Urihano. And you perceive in your heart. This is your message. This is your message. And you accept. The new move of God. In your finances. Some of you. You are, you are given up. I want to pray with a person. Who in your own way, in some way in your life, you had given up. And there was no hope according to men. I don't want to know what it is. It could be cancer. It could be arthritis. It could be an issue in life. My tapa pasaka. Rimama, I see miracles now. The Sarah of today, the Abraham of today, when you look at your family, you don't see like there's any hope that there will ever be a million in your family. When you look at your children, there's a child you have given up with. There's a son you have given up with. You don't feel like this son will ever become productive. You don't feel like your daughter will ever become normal. You've given up. You don't feel, you don't perceive. You don't You don't sense like there's any hope. You've so many deaths. You don't see any hope of recovery. But I sense in my spirit the God of Abraham, Abraham the God of Sarah has come. He is saying, don't give up. I'm showing you another land. Don't give up. I'll make your name great. The name of your family has been reduced. But I said to you, God is making that name great. In his own way. In the name of Jesus. People died in your family. You lost property. 
mfite ukabura you are just there hopeless muraho nabyiringiro you don't your father died papa yarapfu your grandmother died your mom died mama warapfa and you feel Everything is gone. You are left alone. You don't feel like you can raise anything. I said to you the God of Abraham. The God of Sarah. Is writing this over. He is saying to you. Fear not. I am your shield. And I am your exceedingly. Great reward. You may not get help from anywhere. But the Lord we are saved. Being God is not borrowing from anybody. God does not need to consult anybody. He himself is your exceedingly greatly one. There is an area in your family, in your personal life. You have given up. And you are ashamed. And they have put, relatives have put some dirty titles around that area. People are backbiting you. Satan is using something in your family to reduce you to nothing. You are being forced to accept that there's a curse around you. But I sense there's anointing here where God is pronouncing I'm now raising you to be a great nation. I'm making you a blessing. And pastor, I want to promise you a year from now this church will be full of celebration. There are people who you have good vehicles. When you ask them how, they will just say, it's not me. This is God's project. There will be weddings in this church. When you look at them, you can start saying, this is God's doing. There will be great, great families here who now appear to be like nothing. When you look at them, you just say, this is just a product of a product of God. And God, you raise this chart to phase two. There will be givers in this church. They will just give to God. Anything pastor you will say they will just give. They say now we are a product of God. We can only be partners with God. If God wants a bus, we say yes. If God wants to buy another land, we say yes. Because we are product of God. We are product of God. There will be millionaires in this church. Products of God. Products of God. Products of God. Products of God. If you say yes, I'm the one God is speaking to. Just close your eyes and talk to God about your life. This prophecy is moving now. This, this word is hovering over this church. Angels have been assigned to make sure this prophecy start working in you right away. God is powerful. God is powerful. God is powerful. I feel there's a mighty miracle today. A revolutionary miracle. The shame is dying. That curse is dying. That title. That title by evil man is dying. 
God is producing you in his own way. He is giving you his name. He is showing you another love. If that is your real, real prayer. And you are saying, yes, preacher. I am the one. I want to accept this prophecy. Raise your hand up now. And I would like people who accept this one we must pray i would like us, all of us to, to join in this altar just make sure this altar is occupied by all people who have believed i'll start at the corner here and i'll speak to god about you can you please come here do it quickly when you get here just start praying just thank god god i'm the one now i'm just occupy a place tell god rima mama just tell God use me now. Bless me, Lord. Make me an instrument. Talk to God. Talk to God. Oh, yeah, my Baba. Talk to God. Do it, do it, do it quickly. Make sure you're doing it. Make sure you're doing it. Pray deeply. Surrender to God now. These are miracles. Welcome those people. Watch some can occupy the corridor here. Just come, 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 come. Just come, come, come. Come, come. Yes. Some of you can occupy this place. Just come. Raise your hands to heaven now. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is Tell God I'm here for you, Lord. I'm here for you, Lord. Shut up, Sakata. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Open your heart to God. Seriously, do it. Be quiet. Oh, hey. oh yeah, my baba. Angels are ministering. The mighty hand of God is upon you. I worship you, Lord. I know in your hands. In your hands. You can namakata. You can speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Even if you have never spoken in tongues, the is you. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Speak in Robina Speak in your tongues. Receive the power. Receive the anointing. Receive. 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 My God, touch these people. My God, touch them now. Touch them now. Touch 
touch them Lord. Bind them Lord. Touch them down. Break the yoke. Destroy. 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 Every wax of wickedness. My God. Prove your word. Confirm your word. Review your glory. Review your glory. Review your glory. Review your glory. Remove every Heal the sick, renew their strength, touch their bodies, Abakasanda, inhabit their lives, show your glory, show your glory, show your glory, show your glory. Where the kids were here, child. Where the cookies are going, man. 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 Rabba de Yaba Kusaka, Yaraba Kasika Tabakore Bekitas. Father, data. I give you glory, my father. Why to my data? For the blood of Jesus that has taken over. It's speaking their bodies. Speaking in their hearts. Speaking in their lives. Thank you for your angels that have taken over now. For it shall become these people from today are new products. They are never the same again. They are instruments of honor. Glory will be seen through their lives. Oh, yeah, what? in the name of Jesus, receive your miracle, receive your miracle, receive your miracle, receive your miracle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I worship you. For hearing this prayer. We love you. Mighty miracles. Extraordinary glory. I see it. I see you now. In your I have a vision. I see the new glory coming. I see it. I see it. I see the new glory. You are never the same again. You are a product of God. Not of your tribe. Not of your family. You are a new product. God is your exceeding regretly word. Just say, God, thank you. Just say, God, thank you. In the name of Jesus. I would like you to do this. After this, go and get at least three days prayer and fasting. Do you have that? At least three prayer and fasting. Just take drinks. Don't eat food. And what God has spoken will be so clear to you now. After this, take three days prayer fasting. My God, I worship you. In just Christ's name. Time is gone. I know there's revival. If you're not going anywhere, just stay around on your knees. Talking to God about what he has said. The Lord bless you, the Lord keep you. I know with all my heart that God you keep me to come and see what he has spoken. Amen. Pastor, God bless you so much. God keep you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you. God bless so much. God bless you, Pastor. God bless you. Thank you.